This reaction is another double replacement reaction. However, the products that it make will be a little different than what we're accustomed to, and we'll actually see that um, this problem is a little bit more involved than some of the other ones. So it's not exactly like either one of these templates as it turns out. But nonetheless, we're going to follow the same um, type of algorithm. We know that these are going to switch partners. So we have sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid. So sodium is going to bump out hydrogen. So instead of HCl, we'll have NaCl. And H is going to go where sodium was. So we'll have something um, that looks like this, H2CO3. Now the name of this stuff is carbonic acid. Now you wouldn't necessarily um, know this about carbonic acid, but it's actually going to decompose. We're gonna, so we're going to take this step, um, take this reaction a step further. Uh, so let's establish um, what we know for sure. We know that these reactants are going to be aqueous. So we can write that in there. And we know that sodium chloride dissolves in water, so that's aqueous as well. Carbonic acid, well, that's aqueous too. That's just something you kind of have to memorize. In fact, when you dissolve carbon dioxide in water, it makes carbonic acid. So we're going to talk about this several times this semester. So this will just be kind of an introduction to carbonic acid. And we'll have to balance the reaction. We have two sodiums on the left, so we'll make two on the right. That made two chlorines on the right, so we'll need two on the left. And then we have two hydrogens on the left, and we have two hydrogens on the right. We have one carbonate on the right, and one carbonate on the left. So the reaction's balanced. Now, if you recall, we have studied decomposition reactions. You're really not responsible for knowing um, these two here. But this bottom one, it happens so frequently, um, both in nature you know, and in the lab. In fact, this reaction takes place in our bodies all the time. So carbonic acid is going to decompose into carbon dioxide gas and water. So all we have to do is just make another arrow and show that carbonic acid is going to be turning into carbon dioxide and water. And then, of course, we can't forget the sodium chloride that's already present. Carbon dioxide is a gas and water, of course, is a liquid, and the sodium chloride will be in the aqueous phase. So this isn't something that um, we're going to do a lot of, but, but we will look at it several times. So we probably should commit to memory this here, carbonic acid. And we should know that carbonic acid does decompose on its own. You don't have to supply any heat or electricity. It will decompose on its own into carbon dioxide gas and water.